What's the deal? July 15th, it's 10.51 p.m. And uh, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. You won't be let down. All I do is uh, trade pot stocks. I do really volatile trades. So, yeah, I wanted to uh, give y'all an update on my portfolio and also read this real quick here. Uh, the week ahead in cannabis, earnings, can trust update, and more. Organigram, Canopy Rivers earnings. As we're entering the earnings season, we already see companies lining up to report the results for the last quarter. Organigram Holdings, Inc. reported third quarter financials on Monday morning, which was today. Its EPS loss of $0.07 cents per share was down $0.10 cents from the same period last year. Sales of $24.75 million were up $3.43 million in last year's period. So yeah, that's in Canadian dollars. The other company uh, slated to release its quarterly figures this week is Canopy Rivers, Inc., the investing arm of cannabis giant Canopy Growth Corporation. Canopy Rivers will report its results for the fourth quarter ended March 31st before the markets open on Tuesday. Cantrus report to Health Canada. One of the highlights of last week was Cantrus getting busted by Health Canada for selling cannabis produced at <clears throat> unlicensed facilities. The company saw its stock tank on the back of the scandal. On July 17th, Cantrust is expected to deliver its report to Health Canada. So yeah, if you've been living under the rock, uh, Cantrust got caught. They um, they had like fake walls and they had five uh, grow rooms that were not regulated and they were growing pot in those five grow rooms. And they also sold some of the pot that they grew in those unregulated grow rooms to they sent them off to other countries also uh so yeah um today let me go to my history real quick so yeah i did i did um make a deposit of fifty dollars the estimated availability is uh july 22nd 2019 And um, today what I did is I did a, uh, Cantrus was up 18%. My portfolio was up 18%. I had 99.9%, basically uh, 100% of my money in Cantrus. Um, <clears throat> I saw it hit 18%. I uh, put an entered quantity, <clears throat> 980 shares um, and 151 shares got filled at three dollars and six cents. Uh, the reason I did this because uh, it's very rare to see a company go up 20, about 20 percent, <clears throat> and then go up the next day, you know, like crazy. Also, so I, like I said, uh, my interest quantity was 980 shares, but 151 shares got filled, and I am very happy with that. Because I will be buying my Cantrus shares back tomorrow and hopefully with some extra uh, shares, you know. Yeah, because <clears throat> I had 980 and tomorrow I'll hopefully I'll be able to get like 990 or maybe a thousand depending on how much Cantrus falls. <clears throat> and if it goes up, it's all good because I have 829 shares. If it does go up, I'll probably wait <clears throat> wait and see if it drops under under uh, three dollars. So yeah, look at this here. All time, I'm down 47%. Well, 47, 47.14 4, 47 to be exact. Past year, I am down 46.37%. <clears throat> Past three months, I am down 49.2%.
past month I am down 37.8 past week I am down 17.35 percent and today I went up eight well it's about 17 percent in total the ETF MG alternative harvest was up 1.8 percent ACB was up 3.6 percent Afria was up 0.4 Tilray 2.03 percent Village Farms was up 1.4 percent Chronos was up 4.56 percent Hexo 5.5 5, uh 5.15 IIPR was up 1.06%. InBev went down 5.11%. GW Pharmaceuticals was down 1.52%. Organigram, after releasing its earnings, it went up 5.49%. Canopy Growth was up 2.75%. And yeah, so that's it, y'all. Peace out. I Like I said, all I want to do is update y'all on what I've been doing on my uh, portfolio I am very I try to be very transparent so that's it y'all peace out I'll be doing a video tomorrow that's it peace